It's week three of fantasy football. Time for bumps and bruises. It's FF Champs on Football Nation. Billy, after two weeks, guys get bumped, they get nicked, they get yeah. hurt. Some play, some don't. We need you, Billy. We need right. you on that wall. So let's start with quarterbacks. Uh, Blaine Gabbert with the Jaguars. Still not sure what type of NFL quarterback he's going to be, but is he going to play this week? Uh, he's probably going to play. He has a toe injury, has a hamstring injury. But you know what? If you're relying on Blaine Gabbert this week, you got some more problems to worry about. How about running backs? What's going on with uh, some high-profile names like Matt Forte, Fred Jackson? Yeah, we're not going to see Forte. We're not going to see Fred Jackson. We're not going to see Rashad Mendenhall. But we are going to see Ryan Matthews. At least we hope we're going to see him. This is the week that he's supposed to come back after missing the first two games with that broken clavicle. First time in 2012 he's going to be on the field, and the Chargers are taking on the Falcons. We should see Ryan Matthews get the ball a lot for them. You can put him into your lineups this week because the, the Chargers have been running the ball a lot. And now that Ryan Matthews is back, we think he's going to be a high-production running back. I think they were doing the kid glove thing with him in the first two weeks. That's why we didn't see him in action. He's ready to play in week three. Steven Jackson and the groin injury. Groin injuries, running backs, they always scare me. You're best keeping them out for two weeks, which they yeah. never do. Is this one of those weeks where they play him, he hurts it even more? Or does he just bounce right back? Well, his MRI came back clean, but he is questionable for this weekend. We saw Daryl Richardson really perform well in week two. That's his backup which is why he was such a hot waiver wire claim this week. If I was the coach for the St. Louis Rams, I would leave Jackson on the bench because, like you mentioned, those groin injuries are scary for running backs. Not really sure he's going to be a game-time decision. Leave him off your starting lineup for now, but be prepared to put him back in once we roll around to Sunday. Injury updates for three wide receivers that, quite honestly, could win you or lose you a week with their past performances. Yeah. Jeremy Macklin, Pierre Garçon, and Mike Wallace. Your thoughts? The first two guys doesn't look really good for them. Macklin re-injured his hip. He's been held out of practice, and he's not expected to play in week three. Pierre Garçon was limited in practice. That basically means he was running some drills on the sidelines without the team doing more individual type stuff. I'm not sure if he's going to play still dealing with that foot injury that he suffered in the first quarter of week one. But the last guy, Mike Wallace, I think it's more precautionary that he was held out of practice this week. He should have no problem playing on Sunday. When it comes to tight ends, you've advised on picking up Brent Selleck or Dante Rosario and others, but how about Antonio Gates and Fred Davis? They're questionable this week, aren't they? You, you mentioned Dante Rosario, and the reason why he had those three touchdowns in week two was because Antonio Gates was a late scratch. He sent fantasy managers scrambling because all of a sudden these, this late-breaking news that Antonio Gates was inactive in week two, it was chaotic trying to uh, find a replacement. Dante Rosario filled in nicely. For the Chargers, I don't think anyone out there really picked up Rosario and played him in week two. Now, he's questionable with that rib injury. We're not sure if he's going to play. So at least we're, we're being warned now that there's a chance that Gates won't be on the field. Fred Davis for the Washington Redskins suffered a concussion. We all know how serious the NFL is these days when it comes to concussions. I don't expect him to play in week three. So, Billy, we're headed to week three of the NFL. Nobody's 100% anymore. It just goes downhill from here. What are you playing at, 75 80%? Butch, I'm always at 100%. I'm a big coffee drinker, high on caffeine, staying up all hours of the night, crunching numbers, going through injury reports, checking out stats, and looking at every single play of every single game. I won't be 95 80% until after the Super Bowl. Good for you. I haven't been 100% for about 30 years, so <laughs> congratulations on that. Nice job, Billy. All right, thanks, Butch. That's Billy Enright. This is ffchamps.com on Football Nation. Check out all your fantasy football needs at ffchamps.com.